Speaking of the internet, Twitter is an amazing site. You should check it out sometime. Where else can you dialogue with people from all over the world and learn how each unique culture says the word asshat? <laughs> Le chapeau du <de> derrière. <laughs> but it might be harder soon because Twitter announced that it's going to limit the visibility of tweets from people behaving badly. Yeah, up till now, to do that, you had to unfollow Donald Trump. <laughs> Here's how she works. Twitter has set up an algorithm that uses thousands of behavioral signals. If it believes you are acting like a jerk, it will push your tweets lower down. And if the Twitter machine thinks you're a bad person, the punishment is severe, your responses may remain hidden behind a show more replies button. Oh, take that, worst people in the world. <laughs> Now everyone will be able to resist the show more replies button, just like everyone turns off cable news every time they say the following footage may be disturbing. <laughs> and does it work? Well, in early tests, the change reduced abuse reports and conversations by 8%, leading the company to unveil its new slogan, Twitter, now only 92% awful. <laughs> in happier news, that's better. A little better. That's better. A little tad better. In happier news, it's prom season, and that means someone's here for prom night. And that means young love, stretch limousines, and controversy. Like in Florida, where Miami Dade's Christopher Columbus High School is under fire from people upset that the school had a caged tiger at the prom. <laughs> These kids today. What with their tiger proms? The closest thing we had to a live tiger at my prom is when a rat crawled on the punch bowl. <laughs> and we were grateful for our punch rat. <laughs> but bringing a live tiger to prom, the only way that could be more Florida is if a shirtless guy rode it into the Taco Bell drive through <laughs> Where do you get a tiger? Where does, where does one get a tiger? Where do you go get a tiger? I, They're I, great! I Students and parents were not happy about the tiger, with one local posting on Facebook, this poor tiger was used as an exotic amusement for the mindless teenagers who were present. Ask yourselves this. One, did this tiger ask to attend prom? <laughs> Wait. Did it? Was it there with a date? Did it do a promposal? With a sign, hey Karen, I may be a tiger, but I ain't lying when I say <laughs> I want to go to prom with you. And then eat you. <laughs> the high school released a statement about the incident saying the tiger was never harmed or in danger, and for the great majority of the time it was lying down in a relaxed state facing away from the audience. <laughs> yeah, it was facing away from the crowd, probably so they couldn't see it crying after Stacey Melgrove called it fat. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight.